Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And yeah, about a recap video could say so. Pretty much about a month ago, of course, I reacted to the racist incident in the Rangers match, and essentially this video is the outcome of it. Um, literally just about ten minutes ago, the UEFA has came out with a statement of uh, the outcome of the incident, and um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty shit outcome. Um, pretty much, it's confirmed that Cudelo did racially abuse Kamara. Not only that though, he got a whopping ten game ban for it. What? 10 game ban for racially abusing someone, it's absolutely ridiculous. But pretty much, guys, if you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you get down and subscribe. Be sure to support as always, and obviously, smash the like video, enjoy. Cheers, obviously, again for that. But pretty much, uh, the recap for people that obviously don't aren't aware of the incident. So, of course, when Rangers lost to Slavia Prague in the uh, Europa League uh, round of 16, essentially after the match, uh, Kamara, one of the Rangers players, got racially abused by a Slavia Prague player, and it resulted to a fight uh, after the match where. Kamara, I think, kicked him, uh, if I remember correctly. He, he, he pretty much had a squat with him. And, uh, yeah, um, so essentially, Kamara got a four game ban for reacting to it, and Kudela got a 10 game ban for racially abusing the player. Of course, you know, the fact he got a 10 game ban means there is sufficient evidence that he did racially abuse him. So, yeah, people are saying, oh, he's not a racist. Well, that's just not true because it's been found out from the UEFA to obviously racially abuse him. So, yeah, uh, them idiots can't see anything, but I mean, it's absolutely shocking. A 10 game ban for racially abusing someone. Let's be real, right? If I was to walk down the street and racially abuse someone, I would get arrested. So, how is it when you're a footballer, you only get a 10 game ban? It's absolutely shocking. He hasn't even got a fine take. You could at least find him some money as well, you know what I mean? Like, what's. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I'm sorry, right? But this, uh, well, you wait for right? They're a lead organisation, right? They were put, your show races and red card. He has all these organisations going on, you know. You've got Kick It Out. You've got all these different companies, you know, trying to stop racism. But at the end of the day, when you're giving lukewarm fucking outcomes like this, like, it's not going to stop it because, let's face it, right? Suarez, when he raced GPs, Patrick's ever, what did he get? Like an eight, eight game ban was in like a 20 grand fine or something like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not good enough. I mean, if you want to kick it out with the sport, you need to be more. Tougher fines, because otherwise people are just going to keep doing it. It's happened multiple times this season in a football pitch. Fucking forget about social media. Social media is even worse, but on a football pitch, there's been a lot of incidents this season. Of course, Denver Boy incident back in, uh, back in, what was it, October, I think that one was. There's loads of them. Honestly, there's loads of them. It happens on a weekly basis, and the truth is, right, if you're only going to get a 10-game ban for it, it's not going to stop people doing it. Cadella, if he gets a chance, he'll do it again next season, because let's face it, what's going to happen? He gets another 10-game ban. It's not enough. You need to be banning these people for, in my opinion, at least the full season, uh, if not forever. But I've got to be real. Um, I can't imagine anyone getting banned for football forever, even though they probably should. So I think a season uh, is an acceptable amount to where people go, oh, fuck, like, I don't want to do it. But uh, it should be a fine as well. Um, but I don't get it. Like, come on, we've got a full game ban for reacting to it. What's he going to do? Just stand there and go let him, like, get racially abused. Like, obviously, he's going to fight back. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, what's he going to do? Just stand there and accept it. Like, what a load of bollocks. Um, and I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. And I don't blame people for being pissed off. I would be pissed off if I was Stephen Jard, you know. Obviously, my team, my team players getting racially abused. Yeah, I would be fucking pissed off. And I'm not surprised um, someone like this bursted out. And, um,. In fact, that he got a four game ban for fucking kicking him. Well, what, what what's he gonna do? Just stand there, like it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, it, it's it's shocking. It really is shocking. Ten game bans not enough, and that's why I've sort of come out this reaction video, getting my thoughts in it because it's unacceptable. It really is unacceptable, and until it changes, uh, nothing's gonna be done about it. And it's sad to see because racism is a fucking huge problem still, and it's embarrassing because it's twenty twenty one, and unfortunately, until something gets going, it's it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna change. Um. But on a football pitch, it's a simple. If you actually abuse someone, you should get a fucking massive ban or a massive fine. Like you should be punished for doing it. Ten game ban is not much of a punishment. Uh, it really isn't. I think it. I think when I when I was in college, like um, I think I, I two footed someone and then obviously cut, I called a lot of shit in the pitch. I got a five game ban. Like trust me, right? Where she abused and played, I was fucking way worse. Than what I did, and the ban is only five games extra. I mean, it's it's unbelievable, it really is. But. Uh, yeah, uh, essentially the reason why I compare that is because it's just a shit, a really shit by a ban. But yeah, I don't be rambling on, it's kind of my thoughts, but I'd really, uh, I'd be guilty of the tomorrow, don't worry about that. But don't mind me, I've got some uni work to finish off, but fuck me, that was a really, really bad uh, ban today. But take care guys, and uh, yes, I'll see you on the next one.